business. I was not gonna film today, and I was not gonna edit today, and I was not gonna produce a video today. But then I saw this. I think it's important sometimes for, for you guys to know that like, we're people too, yeah. and we struggle with the same things that you struggle. Just because I have a larger platform to put my work on doesn't mean my work means more than yours. It doesn't mean that I'm more valuable than you. We're the same. We're all creators. We're all in this together. We all experience the same road bumps. Okay, I gotta interject something here because I didn't articulate it very well earlier. So when I watched that video, I was hearing Peter say things that I was just saying in my episode four, my vlog episode four, where I was talking about how, you know, these big YouTubers that we admire, that's, they're awesome. And it's great that they've been so successful but they're not more of a person than you are. No celebrity that you admire, no person with fame or any of that stuff, any of that success, they are not more of a person than you are or than I am. And even though I'm still really new to this space, while my technical ability may not be what Peter's is or Casey's or Chris or whatever, I don't necessarily feel like my content is less valuable. And I think to my audience, to you guys that are watching this so far, you guys who have been here from the beginning and seen the early part of the journey and you're gonna come along for the ride wherever this goes, I don't feel less valuable than they are just because they are already successful. You should watch the video. So I'm gonna link it right her. So you should go watch it. And I know it's kind of long, but it's totally worth it to watch the whole thing. And they talk about relatability and just all these principles that are really the foundation of why I started a channel. Because relatability and remembering that we're all people and that no amount of success makes anyone else any more of a person than you are. So, okay, moving on. <laughs> And basically, that is kind of the extent of my camera gear. Except for this one that, and this one. Did you guys know that the first seven videos on my channel I edited on an iPad? <laughs> I'm gonna talk about that more later, but I'm kind of the definition of bootstrapping right now. Oh, I forgot one really important piece of gear. Look at this. Ah, it's the size of a credit card. It's a tripod that goes in your pocket. And you guys are so jealous, I bet you want one. You can get one. It's called the Pocket Tripod by Geometric, I think. You should get one. Not that Casey will ever see this, but Casey, you need one of these, okay? Like, you need one because that phone in the fence thing while you're running and it's always falling over. You need one of these. <laughs> I went one day, I spent yesterday, the whole day basically I listened to Armada by Ernest Klein because I was a freaking junkie for Ready Player One and I've listened to it like five times and finally my friend Robert was like, you know that guy wrote another book, right? And I was like, what? So I spent the whole day, the audiobook's like 11 hours. I did it yesterday. So that gives you guys an idea of how much I accomplished yesterday. And by this morning I'm like, I wanna make a video. <laughs> I can't, I can't go two days, guys, without being like, what am I gonna do next? <laughs> Alright, I can't, I can't with the big stuff. There's a couple things that I want to explain, because there's a couple things you're gonna hear or see in my videos all the time that okay, might not make sense. The hat thing I explained in the Secret Santa video, I always have hats around. I have so many hats. I have like 10 different beanies. I have probably 25 or 30 different like trucker hats or ball caps or whatever. So I change my hat all the time because I have so many and I feel like how else do they get wear time? <laughs> but also I get tired of them. I don't know. I, I've changed them 
a lot and after I did that in a couple of videos people were commenting on it so then in the Secret Santa video I called it out and I think I did like five hat changes in that video. So it's kind of this funny little inside joke, the hat change thing that people have been teasing me about. And you know what? That's cool because I wear hats. I wear a lot of hats. Well, I went to Best Buy and did not find what I was looking for. Even though online it said they had it in store. set it down in my lap and was car dancing <laughs> so that happened <laughs> mangoes <laughs> you guys miss this because i started my channel after i overcame my addiction but costco the organic unsulfured mangoes i this is how i know when my people love me guys and it's noisy because they're having like a screamo moment on the radio so the as fries story um we were in boulder for outdoor retailer <laughs> that's a good trip the first morning in boulder i woke up at our friend's house that we stayed with our friend amir who lives in boulder with his wife amy woke up the first morning and I opened Instagram and saw somebody post AF after something. If you don't know what AF means, and I don't mean autofocus, look it up because this is a family friendly channel. <laughs> anyway, so I saw someone put the abbreviation AF at the end. It was like awesome AF or whatever. And I, my first thought was just why doesn't that mean as fries? Because <laughs> it like applies. I can't. It's just so silly. If you think about like broke as fries, that works. Um, stoked as fries, because who is not stoked to eat french fries? Uh, hot as fries? Oh yeah. I already used lame as cold fries. Sexy as fries. Sexy as fries? Ugh. <laughs> I posted that on my Instagram. I posted a picture of me like jumping on a trail in Oahu or something and said something about, I'll put a screenshot, like here, here so it's not in front of her face. I'll put a screenshot. Um, so it's become a thing and honestly I kind of want to make t-shirts. We should do it. So we should do like a, like a blank, you put like the blank and put as fries under it and then people can like, like Velcro on whatever saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's my order. There you go. Thank you. You're I don't know anybody who isn't happy when they eat fries. It looks like a mustache. <laughs> Pro tip for five guys, you dump the fries out of the cup into the bag and tear the bag open. <laughs> And I say it a lot. I want to make a round of these t-shirts for me, just so I can wear, on any given day, I can wear the mood that I'm feeling, but also it makes up for the bad moods because fries. This is genius. <laughs> Thanks for coming.
Bye for real. Thanks for the mangoes. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. You know what they say. Friends who fry together. Cry together? Mm, I didn't think that one through. Let's pull up a chair, shall we? Uh, working on a couple of things this week. I have my first brand partnership collaboration thing in the works. And I'm really excited about that. I'll tell you guys more about that when it's official. When I have stuff to show you. Um, but I'm really excited about that, especially this early. I also have a trip to Moab this week. It's a quick overnighter, but this time of year I always get anxious for like waking up on BLM land in red dirt. Fries. Tell me what your favorite kinds of fries are. What your favorite place to get fries are. What style, what do you eat them with? Do you like fries and ketchup? Just straight up normal? Do you eat fries and mustard like I do? Or A1? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna cut this off now because I'm post fry slump. So I'm gonna edit and then post this and surprise, there's a video today when there wasn't. Good night. Oh.